Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Thursday, February 6th. Today we'll check in with the thrift store. We'll hear about a new coffee with the neighbor with Pastor Andy Hawkins. But first, let's look back on this day in history. It was February 6, 1952, that after a long illness, King George VI of Great Britain and Northern Ireland died in his sleep, and Princess Elizabeth, the oldest of the king's two daughters, became queen. She was in Kenya at the time and would be crowned Queen Elizabeth II on June 2, 1953, at age 27. From the start of her reign, Elizabeth understood the value of public relations and allowed her 1953 coronation to be televised, despite objections from Prime Minister Winston Churchill and others who felt it would cheapen the ceremony. Elizabeth, the 40th British monarch since William the Conqueror, has worked hard at her royal duties and has become a popular figure around the world. The Queen has been on the throne for 67 years now, the longest reign of any British monarch. Celebration 2020 was last Friday. If you missed it or you'd like to see it again, the video will play today at 10, 2, and 8. Also today on Channel 12, we'll be replaying the recent Medical Breakthroughs presentation by Dr. Schwartz, speaking on macular degeneration at 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. Romance is in the air, and Shell Point Golf Club invites you to a fun nine and dine event themed Be My Valentine. It's February 7th with a 3.30 p.m. shotgun start. The entry fee for golf members is $40 and $50 for non-member residents. This will cover the cart and greens fees, dinner, prizes, and a gift from Norman Love for your Valentine. To sign up, please contact the Golf Pro Shop at 433-9790. Tomorrow it's time for the next session of Intro to Android Smartphones and Tablets at 9.45 a.m. in the Teaching Center on the Island. Learning how to use and enjoy Android devices from Samsung, Google, LG, and others. This class will cover basic operations of buttons and touchscreen, settings for Wi-Fi, security, privacy, accounts, and inputting commands and data by typing or voice. This class will also review pre-installed apps and how to install other apps. These apps will include those for email, calendar, clock, internet browsing, photos, maps, and the powerful personal assistant, OK Google. Questions and comments will be welcomed. The cost is $15, and again, that's tomorrow in the Teaching Center in the Island Tunnel at 9.45 a.m. Also tomorrow, sharks. At 2 p.m. in the Grand Cypress Room, visit some of the sharkiest places on the planet and learn what observing and diving with these misunderstood fish has revealed about their critically important role in keeping our oceans healthy. Our presenter, Cheryl Black, is a retired professor of environmental science at FSW, and she's an avid scuba diver and an underwater photographer. Come and enjoy the information, the thrill of photos and personal stories from this environmental scientist who is living her passions. That's tomorrow at 2 in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands. Saturday at the Movies will feature The Peanut Butter Falcon from 2019. Ignore the title, but see this inspiring comedy drama adventure featuring a young man named Zach who has Down Syndrome. Zach is outspoken and strong, funny, and vulnerable. He lives in a government residential home since he has no family and no resources. He befriends Eleanor, a kind social worker. Zach escapes and meets Tyler, a fisherman on the run. Watching Zach's relationship develop with Eleanor and Tyler is just one of the film's many pleasures. Saturday at the Movies happens in the Grand Cypress Room at the Woodlands. There will be two showings at 2 p.m. and again at 7 p.m. For more information, call 454-2046. Dan, you've heard me say it a million times. This is one of my favorite movies of really? 2019. Have you seen it yet? It sounds really unusual. It's the sweetest movie, the storyline and the actors. It's got Shia LaBeouf mm -hmm. and Dakota Johnson, I think it is but it's a really sweet story Check and that out. I recommend everyone going to see it if you have nothing to do on Saturday. Great. Chef Josh Mulnix knows that you can't come eat at the Banyan Grill every night of the week. That's why he wants to help you be the master of your own kitchen. Here's Chef Josh with part two on how to prepare a great steak. 